Hi YouTube, it's Brandon, Felty's Aquaria. I uh, just caught one of my Amano shrimp out and I decided to take a little video of him. You see some shrimp back there fighting over bluffed over blood worms. But yeah, I just I don't see the Amanos too often, so it's nice to see them every once in a while. I'm, uh, I'm actually going to be doing a time lapse of this tank and um, I don't know, pre here pretty soon probably, maybe even tonight I might do it and then it'll probably be online in a couple weeks or a week or something, I don't know I just, I, I've been taking my time guys been doing a lot of other stuff got a lot of my other projects finally taken care of I'm starting a new project though uh, something maybe you guys will be excited about on the channel I am going to uh try my hand at making a paludarium um which is it's like an aquarium but you have a uh, like a terrestrial area where there's dry land too um so yeah I'm gonna try to make one of those coming up here pretty soon I'm gonna get a 20 gallon long and I'm gonna take the fish that are in my 20 gallon long in my room and put them in the um, big tank I'm gonna put that 20 gallon long aside for a little while I'm gonna get a new tank uh, the reason I really want to get a new tank is that way I can drill it before um, I take the fish out and everything so I can still have that 20 gallon aquarium in my room I'll get a new aquarium I'll drill it get it all ready um, I'm gonna, this is gonna be the first aquarium that I've ever drilled um, so hopefully it works out <laughs> that's all I have to say about that um, but I think I have a good technique. I've been watching a lot of Serpa Design. If you guys don't know who Serpa Design is, he's a really, really awesome content creator. Um, I like watching him a lot. He makes terrariums and aquariums and paludariums and all kinds of stuff. Um, but yeah, basically, I'm going to, uh, the plan is to drill a tank and put a canister filter in it I believe or maybe a maybe just a pump it's possible but I think I'm probably gonna go with canister filter and then I'll have my my outlet somewhere up in the top corner up in the top somewhere and have water trickling out uh, with a with a bar and then I'll make a little cage around it like an overflow box and it'll just kinda trickle out of there and then I can cover it all up with rock work and stuff make it look all pretty and make it look like a uh, waterfall you build up all the land with expanding foam and rocks and possibly egg crate and false bottom type stuff to um, make a decent little I think a 20 gallon long should be perfect for my purposes because I just I'm gonna put uh, I know most youtubers are like oh I'm not gonna tell you what this is but I don't have very many subscribers so I don't mind to tell you guys you guys you guys are all like close with me probably um, if you do subscribe to the channel so uh, they are going to be uh, fire bellied newts um, is what I'm probably gonna put in it and then I'll probably have uh, some red cherries in there as like a cleanup crew and they will eat the red cherries but I don't I think that I'll probably get some survive um, I have a lot of aquariums that I didn't think the red cherries would survive and they did they did survive so the only one they don't survive in universally at all is the big blue fish's tank because he's a pretty insane predator but uh there's gonna be a lot of hiding spots uh, a lot of plants and stuff like that um hopefully you guys will be looking forward to it and it probably will take some time i'm gonna start working on it here soon but i have to amass a lot of stuff because i've never done a terrarium so there's like a lot of different like little things that i have to get like substrates that i need I'm going to use some of the plants and some of the substrate from that other 20 gallon long and then I'm going to take the other um, stuff that I have in that 20 gallon long and put it in my ponds probably. Um, spread the substrate out throughout the rest of the tanks because yeah, I'm going to just put that guy in the garage for a little while or something or put it in storage for a second and if I decide I want to set it back up it's been on that same stand for a long time. I'm also going to try to make a stand for it. So that will be another thing that you guys can look forward to is me building a stand. Because that's awesome. Um, yeah, guys, that's about it. 
Um, I'll keep you posted on when I get little bits and pieces for the paladarium. Oh, I guess I can... Here, we'll make this a longer video. Okay. So, one second. Got my new keyboard today. It is a steel case. There's the actual. Or a steel series. Steel case, I'm stupid. Um, yeah, so far, so good. Um, I did get in a couple other little doodads and bits today. Got a card reader um, for the computer. Um, I got a USB cord to put into the soundbar, so I'm going to try here, I um, haven't just, haven't tried to turn it on and just mess with it yet, because I'll have to, like, change some, some settings in the computer to get it to work anyway, you know, um, but hopefully I'll get that working here pretty soon, um, and the other thing I got is a, um, a faster Ethernet cable, it's a, I think this one that I had was, like, a Cat 5 or 6, like, super old, I probably need to replace this gray one too here, um, with another fast one, but that's like a Cat 8, um, so they're supposed to be faster, I don't know if my internet even warrants me using that, but I do have it, um, I got a new air pump, a big air pump out there for, um, just like, it's not, so it's not that I'm going to use this yet, like right this second, um, but it's, it's a bigger air pump and it has six outlets, so thinking about transferring over to air pumps in the fish room. I'll give you guys a little update on these. Uh, did water these maybe uh, three or four days ago, probably. Um, but you can see the climbing aloe, which I've had for a little while now, probably, probably like a little, like about a month or more, maybe, maybe like a little over a month, probably pretty close to a month. Um, but it's got some new growth. This thing over here looks okay, I think. I'm trying to look, those tips look burnt, but I think that's actually how it's supposed to look. Some of them are broken off, so hopefully, hopefully it's doing okay. I tried to clone this, uh, it's called a Haworthia, a Zebra Haworthia. Um, I tried to clone it, but it did not work. <laughs> and a lot of people say, they're really, really, like, succulents are just really hard to clone. A bunch of succulent potting mix and stuff for some more, get some more cloning experiments going on soon. But yeah, I got a, got a few things in the mail today. I can't remember if there was something else I got. Just a bunch of cords. Is that all? Oh man, I feel like there was definitely something else. Um, I don't know, I'll keep you guys updated on, uh, I'll probably start amassing um, paludarium gear here pretty soon. Uh, this setup's really starting to come together. Got everything pretty much going on in here. This I'm gonna have the desk going on here pretty soon. So yeah. <laughs> That's it guys. That's the whole video. Um, hopefully you guys have a wonderful night and um, enjoy your YouTube time.